Okay, Aaron, you asked for an explanation on subreddit or something. I'm going to do you one better and just make a short video and try and explain it. So this is my theory. First of all, uh, a couple things about Kirby's dream course. It appears that Kirby has a couple of different states that he can be in. One of them is rolling on the ground state. So I'm going to call that the ground state. And then he's got the state where he's flying through the air and he will bounce if he hits the ground. So let's just call that projectile state. He's flying through the air and there's gravity. And those are two different states that have different rules within the program. If you hit Kirby into the air, he's in projectile state, right? So I think the way the game is designed is that if he's in projectile state and he hits the lowest plane on the level, then it triggers that death animation where you get dropped back onto the level and you lose some of your beans. In the regular game, the levels are designed so that the tiles at the edge of a platform are always higher than height zero. So you're always going to fall onto that death plane. And, you know, the, the zero plane. And if you were to be in the rolling state when you're on the zero plane, you shouldn't fall off the edge of the map only because the game was never programmed to handle that situation because it was never supposed to happen. So in the level zero plane, in the level called zero plane, there is a scenario which would never happen in the, in the original game. Now I have here a screenshot of the level editor that was used to make Grump's Dream Course. You can see that the all the tiles have a, a height on them, and in this case there's height 0, and then at the edge, which is higher, it's height 1. Notice how in this default level, none of the edge tiles are at height 0, because that's just how the game was originally designed. If you have a tile at the edge of a platform, which is a, which lines up with height 0, you can roll onto the 0 plane, and the death animation only triggers if Kirby is in his projectile state. If he were to roll off the edge of this level, he would be in the air for a second, which means he's going to enter projectile state, and then he's going to hit the kill plane. So he's going to fall off of the level. But if he were rolling when he was on that kill plane, the game isn't programmed to handle that scenario because that scenario should never happen. So um, he's just going to roll along height zero as if there was a floor there. So my theory is this. If you went back to the level zero plane and rolled down the ramp onto the kill plane so that you don't fall out of the level, I think you could roll Kirby in any direction and he wouldn't fall off the level. But as soon as you knock him into the air, he's going to fall off the level. So that's my theory. If he's in rolling state and he hits the zero plane, he doesn't fall out of the level, which is a bug that never would have happened in the normal game. But it happens in this Ross's Dungeon level because the level designer was being a smartass. <laughs>